So now that we have created this collision test where we tested the point inside a sphere or a circle, we're ready to go on to the next step and update our circle library with our next function, which will actually test for collisions between two spheres or two circles. In order to do that, I'll clean up the code from our previous tutorial by deleting this previous example that we had saving and refreshing the, the canvas. So we're back to just the two circles. Now we need to figure out how to collide both of them and just as with the previous tutorial, once we determine whether the two spheres collide, we'll highlight them in some kind of color to make sure that visually that they have collided. To determine whether two circles collide, first we need to create a new segment. And this segment will stretch from the first circle's origin to the other. So, circle 1, x, circle 2, circle 1, y. And in order to draw the vector, remember we're specifying segments as the starting point and the vector that goes out of that point. So in order to do that, we actually need to subtract from circle 2, the position of circle 1. And that's done like this. And I'll close this and let's draw this segment just to make sure that we have that line connecting both circles. I'll make this line red. I'll refresh the browser. And something isn't right here. And it's probably because we are messing up the order. This is an, an easy. Actually, no. Um, two. Yes, we forgot to make this one one rather than two. So, so we have just drawn a line between two spheres that we want to see whether they collide or not. And so in order to determine if two spheres collide, what we need to do is we need to take the length of the segment that was just created and compare it to the sum of both circles combined together. So, in other words, if the segment's length is longer than the combined sum of circle 1 and circle 2 radiuses, then there is no collision. But if it's less or equal to the sum of two circles' radiuses, Then what we want to do is let's draw both circles in red to indicate that they have collided. And if I refresh the browser, nothing is going to happen yet. So we need a way of moving the second sphere. So let's try that out by changing some of these coordinates to mouse X and Y position. So now we can control this with the mouse. So as you can see, when two spheres touch, they actually light up in red. That indicates a collision. And that is how you calculate collision detection between two spheres. You don't have to do all of this from scratch, and you can download the source code with all these libraries and this example and start integrating these into your own JavaScript games. The source code for this tutorial is provided in the description of this video somewhere or on the screen and it includes this example as well as all of these libraries that have been developed so far in the series. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this is helping someone and I'll see you in my next tutorial.